Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're going to talk about the relocation table feature that we have on this software. So let's go to the presentation. In the previous video we saw that, um, that we need to be careful when we give some address to the variables so they don't overlap and create some problems when we run the program okay so one way to in order to avoid giving address to the variables is to use this relocation table basically this relocation table allowed us to have a specific area of the variables starting from that kind of position let me change the view for this kind of position okay for the MW 60,000 blah 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 to this position okay it allows you to define um, a read only area okay for the values that you want and then from this position okay for the 62,000 blah 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 to this one allows you to define um, a specific area for writing only okay so this way of relocation table allows you to uh, select the data the data that you have defined it on the GBLs. Okay, I always recommend to use value from the GBLs. There are global variables, not local from the PLUs. So you can imagine that you want to share data with another device to a third party HMI and you need some specific data. But you know that the machine expert worked on symbolic and it's not mandatory to use address to the variables. Okay, so in that case, you can you have two possibilities you can use the address that you want okay that you want to define as we saw in the previous video or we can use the relocation table so you can give to the other third party device that okay these are my variables that you can read from here okay so if we continue with this da -da -da -da. in order to add this relocation table is very simple very straightforward we just need to go to the tools tree view okay in our system right click on our device and then add object and find in the view for the relocation table bear in mind that this view will depend on the controller okay if i run in the m251 you have a different view you don't have all these elements that you have over here okay so once you add the relocation table you will see two specific areas, just for reading and the other one for writing. Okay, so here in the address, once you start adding the variables, you can see that this one's gonna change. It will start from this position and, and it will automatically increase based on the variables that you have defined, okay, in the code, okay? And the same will be applied for the write area. So the read area, only reading, right area right only area from the other side that you want to use okay so uh, once you have this okay you just need to add this icon press on this icon and you will see to be able to add some rows over here okay the amount of row will allow you to add variables so if we double click on the row on the variable type we should be able to select the variables that you want okay so you can have access to the local GBO, GBL, okay? You can see over here. If you if you have this value, for example, I have these values on the GBL, you have all this and you can find it over here. Then if you are using a POU, you can find it in the local POU, okay? But um, if I want to share a variable Externally, I don't use a value on the POU because the main idea of the values of the POU is that they are local variables, okay? And if I want to share that externally, probably I'm going to use a specific GBL where those variables are located. So, saying that, you can see here that once those variables are added, okay, you can see that I have different areas okay and it will add variables over here okay it will add depend on the variables it will add the new value to the next one in this case i'm using a boolean variable and the boolean value takes the complete word okay 
this is different from what we saw in the different video okay that just one boolean take one bit in a specific So we need to be careful here because this is not the same. We just change the view. You can see that depending on the variable size, the address will be increasing differently. Okay, for the byte, for the boolean and byte, it takes only the complete word. Okay, you can see the word is just taking one. Okay, and this one is taking two, length two. Okay and so on okay so this is just to have an idea okay and how this works and here it only allows you to use the um even okay so you be, need to be very careful over here okay but once you have all this information already defined it's going to be easy to share to another um to another device where all those variables located because you just need to add the variable and the system do everything for you okay so let's try to make this a task in our controller so let's open the application that we are working with let's add gbl let's try to add x uh, read variable boolean um, w read variable word okay let's add some numbers over here zero one zero two So you can see how this increase okay three four and five and i'm going to specify a different area here for reading uh, for writing okay so now i'm going to use uh, one of these variables in our code so for example here let me see what do I have mm -hmm. let's change this gbl dot uh, read variable okay here I'm going to add this one gbl dot right variable VOU is called okay so now we should be able to compile this okay now let's create a relocation table so I told you that in order to do this we should be located in just we should be located in the tools tree over here so working with this controller I have already added relocation table. Let me just delete it. So the faster way should be over here. This icon, add other objects and find the relocation table over here, here. Another way is to right click, add object. The relocation table should be from here. Add relocation table. We are now able to change the name and then add it in our system. Once it's added in our system, we should be able to see again the two areas on the read and write. So let's try, let me see how many, five. So let's add five over here. Five, five. I don't remember if I compile this, but let's compile. 10 errors, okay, because there is nothing in the relocation table. Okay, which is good. You can see the address is minus one which is correct because I don't have anything here. So if I double click and I select the global PUs, local GBLs, we should be able to see application and the GBL number. Let me see why. Why did it not appear in there? 
Let's compile again. Okay, should be here in the applications, probably because it doesn't compile correctly. That's why we had the error. But it should be over here in the application. We need to find the GBL. So on the GBL, we just need to select the variables and the order that you want. It doesn't matter. So uh, let's start by the reading area, variable one, double click, variable two, variable three, variable four, variable five. As you can see here, the other is going to be added automatically. Now for the writing, it's going to be the right one. Right two, three. It's gonna, as you can see over here, is much easier than assign the variables that we saw before, like like this. Okay, so you just don't need to think if you are overwriting to just use the variable here in relocation, and that's all. So you can see here, these are the address. Okay, we can download this into the controller. Okay, from load. Okay, it's administrator in my case, administrator using the default ones that we have in the other version of the software. Okay, stop. GBL. Okay, so let's change the view of this display mode as decimal. So you can see here there is no address at all okay which is fine here the relocation table have this value so if we go to the operator terminal expert this is the application that i have done before with you just going to delete it i have i have already configured the driver for the model of tcp okay you can see i'm using iec 61 um 61131 syntax now let's go to the variables over here
So you have seen here that I was able to locate in a specific area, okay, our variables that doesn't have any address, and I was able to read and write the information to the controller externally without defining any variables on the system and the GBL. That is something that we can do using the relocation table. Okay, so that is the real purpose of the relocation table as you can see today on the presentation. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.